Hello, 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 children. I am Big Meats, darling, and this is a Big Meats moment. Now, listen, honey, let me come to you real quickly. Let me first start off by saying that I am elated that In the Life Atlanta, the nonprofit organization, has uh, uh, reclaimed the name Atlanta Black Gay Pride, okay? They have taken over and uh, have reclaimed the name. So now uh, for official uh, Black Gay Pride events and carrying on, you have to go to through them and carrying on to become an official sponsor. Uh, we have an upset here because we have a lot of promoters and carrying on who've been doing their own thing. So if you if you are a little sketchy as to what was going on and why things were a little mismatched and carrying on, it's because some of the promoters were doing their own things. They did not pay the licensing fees to utilize Atlanta Black Gay Pride in their advertisement and things. So <laughs> that's why there is somewhat of an upset and things of that nature. So in the life Atlanta will be um, taking, taking that over and they will get to the bottom of this. So moving forward, you will understand all official Atlanta Black Gay Pride events must be um held or they will all come through in the life atlanta anything else from that honey will not be an official black gay pride event you have to go to in the life atlanta is it com or dot org or atlanta black gay pride dot org uh, for more information about that okay so that's the public service announcement what i do want to tell you uh, in this particular moment, is that people, I need for us to police ourselves, and we need to do this uh, expeditiously because uh, over the course of the weekend and, and things, there have been a number of people who have been hospitalized because Mickey's have been slipped into their drinks. Now, uh, Friday morning, Saturday morning, about 6 o'clock Saturday morning, I was getting off work. I met this guy on the train, honey, this beautiful handsome, melanated, dark skin, oh, thickums. His name was Al. He had just left Emory Hospital uh, because his friend was transported there via ambulance from a club. I'm not going to name the club because there were he wasn't the only one. There were about three or four other people from the same club, I'm told, that had Mickey slipped in their drinks and they were treated. One uh, was immediately exported, uh, transported rather, uh, to the hospital because he was completely unconscious. Now, last night, around 3.40, 3.45 in the morning, I had a female who was coming back to the hotel. And the same thing had happened to her. After three drinks, uh, they said she had a tequila sunrise and two uh, vodka cranberries. That she was completely out of it. She was wiped out. Something had happened with her drink. And then I'm also told that at that particular club, uh, there were two or three other girls who ha ha had uh, experienced the same thing. So people, I'm, um, I'm a little concerned about that because that's too coincidental to be a coincidence. And then you had it two nights in a row at two separate bars. Something's not right with that. And we need to look at that. We need to be on guard. We need to find out what the hell is going on. Okay. So if you know anything about all of that, go to your social media outlets and let's get the information out there so we can learn how to police this. Okay, get to the party promoters, get to, the, to your point of contact so we can find out what the hell is going on, because that there is that's scary. Okay, that's scary. This young girl was 22 years old. Now, I don't know how old the boys were because the, the Friday night it was all guys. Last night it was girls. So something's not right, people. Now, just before coming to, to share my moment with you, honey, I'm getting wind, child, that the kids are fighting at Lenox Mall, yet again. And then, y'all butt-ass naked at a fucking sex party. Everybody got to check your clothes at a sex party. Why are you fighting at a sex party? A sex party, honey. It ain't supposed to be that kind of fighting going on. Ugh, okay? Why are y'all going to fisticuffs, butt booty ball naked at a fucking sex party? Why are you coming out of town? Y'all come from out of town, spending money to come into a town just to fight? What the fuck shit is that?
I'm not understanding that for the life of me, why you feel the need to want to not be treated as a punk or whatever. You spend all this coin, you know, spend car fare, airfare, hotel fare, the money you spend to get into the clubs with all the outfits you done bought, you know, you done got your hair did, cut, colored, or whatever. You done spend all this coin for you to come out here just to fucking fight. That doesn't make any goddamn sense, children. See what it is, what all of this is? We have gotten down to a point where this is, is looked upon or I'm going to to consider this to be some form of gang-like activity. And we were supposed to be the community that said we were above all of that. We were above such things, honey. We don't belong to gangs and this and another. But we treat ourselves and we get into these little mon mundane little idea ideologies and we do just that. You go out there fucking up the places and carrying on. What was it, last year, the year before the kids were in Sephora? Out there at the mall, Lennox Mall, fuck that entire store up. Y'all fighting in the goddamn, in, 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 the, in the store. I don't know about this one. Now, here is the kicker, okay? The kicker is, these bitches got this on tape somewhere, and they done put it up on social media. I have yet to see it. But, honey, when you find it, I want to see it. Then again, I don't want to see it. Because, see... And it already tells me these are young folks because this is their language. See, the social media shit, this is what they do nowadays. So everything now got to go up on the gram. It got to go up on World Star Hip Hop. It got to go up on YouTube or something. Because you, what are you trying to prove? What is it that you want the folks to see? How much of an ass you are? We as the elders, see, we, we got to do better. We got to do better and start snatching these little fuckers up. We need to be the 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 sergeant at arms at all these different places, honey. We need to walk around like our grandmother did with our belt around our necks or our switches in our hand or get one of those old-fashioned batting balls with the little paddle and take those paddles, honey, and start popping the shit out these little bastards because this shit has got to, cur it's got to come to an end somewhere. We've got to stop allowing this to become normal activity or normal behavior or a normal narrative that black gay prides are supposed to have because I'm sick of us always going places and it's supposed to be a celebration and it comes a fucking war zone. This shit has got to fucking stop. You understand? Y'all asses need to learn decorum and etiquette and fuck the fuck. Stop all this fuck shit. It doesn't, what the hell are you proud of? This is supposed to be black gay pride. What the fuck are you proud about fighting? This shit don't make no goddamn sense. It just don't make no sense. You understand? It makes no fucking sense. Then y'all find out the goddamn sex party. Over what? Huh? Over what? Somebody touch you, you want to be touched, and you didn't know how to say no? Huh? It's dark in there anyway, child. What the fuck did you go there to fight for? That's fucking stupid. It is crazy. Okay, it is crazy. And if I find out that y'all were lovers and both of y'all showed up at the party and neither one of y'all knew the other was going, see, that's some fuck shit there too. I ain't gonna get all off into that because that's just speculation. But right now, we need to stop that bullshit. You understand me? Ha. Huh. That's the big meets moment right now. And I'll talk to y'all later. Ha, huh. TTFN. Mm.